Hello people, I'm out here on a lovely Sunday drive. I'm heading to a place called Loch Cru. Um, it's a passage grave that's older than the pyramids in Egypt. And there's a car, two cars behind me. So people out here in the heart of the country on a beautiful Sunday in June and uh, just up here over this hill is um, La Cru Passage Grave um, that's older than the pyramids of Egypt. I'm just going down here to say hello to the cows. It's a big field of cows here so I'm mad into the countryside as you probably have noticed already. Hello what's the crack? What's the crack? What's your name? What's your name? Is your name Blackie? What's your name? Hello, Miss Cows. Hello. Hello. Oh, you are looking really cool today. You look really cool. What's your name? What's your name? Hmm? What's your name? Follow me, yeah? He's following me. Woo! I'm afraid. No, I'm not. I'm not afraid of you, so I'm not. I use the best cows in Ireland, yeah? I use the best cows in the whole of Ireland. I use the best cows in the whole of Ireland. Do you hear me speaking to you? Look at all the flies all around you. Wow. Okay, bye, see you again. This sign is saying close to here is Loch Rue Church and Gardens, the birthplace of St. Oliver Plunkett. Now, St. Oliver Plunkett, as far as I know, was a priest. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how, how far back, right? But if you go into, into the town of Drada, on the east coast of um, Mead, uh, and go into St. Peter's Church, you will see um, the head of St. Peter, because he was half drawn and quartered in London. Basically, he was murdered because he was a, a Catholic. Oh, the steps, the steps. This is so cool. Beautiful day. I can't complain today about the weather. It's just great. You know, when Ireland has the weather, there's no place like it. Wow, it's incredible heat here. But I'm not going to complain because all I do is complain about the rain we get, or we have been getting up till now. So I'm going to just take in the day's sunshine. Oh, this, this, this is just fantastic. It really is. Right, you probably can't, you, not can't, you, you won't be able to pick it up with a GoPro, but that, looking over here now, I'm looking over to the west of Ireland direction. And I can see mountains in the distance, way over there, right? So they reckon that on a clear day, on the top of this hill here in Loch Crew, that you can see um, almost half of Ireland. Yeah, so do you see that wild um, plant that, I'm, that I have here? I'm not too sure, but I think that's a young dandelion plant. I didn't realise someone said that you can actually eat a dandelion completely and it won't do you any harm. I'm not going to try it, but they say that you can eat a dandelion. So there you go. Oh, this is just fantastic. Just sitting here now, having a little breather in the sunshine. And there's a nice breeze just breezing here and my face from the west. Oh, what more can you ask for?
wild thistles, buttercups, and I don't know what the other um, indigenous plant is, but it's just fantastic. That's my favourite word now, fantastic. You're looking in the little gateway, can you see that, look? And the sun goes right in. There's a little sill stone you normally climb over, but the sun then hits the back wall. And what you have is artwork all across the back wall. If you go to Newgrange, there's a 17 minute uh, shortest day of the year alignment. But when you come to Loch Crew, it actually lasts for um, one hour. So it's like a picture book. It's like it's going right across, lighting up all the artwork and it actually comes out. Do you see the artwork there? They call that like a sunburst. Some people think it's like a flower and it's all the seeds of the flower. Mm -hmm. Other people said it's all the sun, that that's their sun symbol. And all the artwork all along. Now, let me see if I can show you some more of the artwork. That's giving you a better idea. So when you went in just beyond the sill stone, all the wall had little holes in it. And what they found were chalk balls that fit it perfectly in. So some people will imagine that they were actually maybe uh, the planets, the stars in the sky, that they were actually, um, you know, mapping them all out for them. So you can see that, that that's as clear as it is. There's all the artwork now, giving you an idea of what the artwork is like. So this here was another uh, burial chamber. Now you can see the mound that was covering this is, is gone, right? But as I said, this is 5,000 years old. This is older than the pyramids of Egypt. And look at the artwork that, that they inscripted onto the stonework. That's still here 5,000 years later, look. I don't know if you can see with the GoPro. See the kind of circular kind of, that they've put into the rock. Truly amazing. Don't you think? Yeah, so look, right behind me here, just over there is Northern Ireland. So in that direction, my finger is pointing there. That's northeast. And you can't see it with a GoPro because I can't zoom in it, but you can see the Moran Mountains. Did you ever hear that famous song? The Moran Mountains sweep down to the sea. So you're looking up to County Down in Northern Ireland, over there. And I'd say the counties just over here is County Cavan, there's County, County Monaghan, County Loud. I'd say, uh, yeah, so that's all all up there now. You're looking looking north to the northern part of Ireland in that direction there. So now, that oh, straight straight there is east and the Irish Sea. Um, about 30 miles maybe, that direction. And if I come back this way, south, southeast, I can see the um, Dublin and Wicklow Mountains and Dublin City is just over in that direction there which is impossible to pick up here with the GoPro so that's probably about maybe 50 60 miles away maybe more and I can see it and then come around here right and I'm looking south so they say as I said on a clear day that you can see half of Ireland from up here I don't know if that's true or not, but you certainly can see a hell of a lot. This is it, this is the chamber. we were in a different kind of way but imagine that they built constructed this 5,000 years ago you know and how do they get the big big stones up here what uh, modes of um, transportation did he have and had he got big like cranes he hadn't got cranes or big levers of some kind to do this but they done it so you're looking at 5,000 years old artwork on this stone here and all them stone that's the passageway grave in there now I was in there but they're after closing it up because they reckon it's getting damaged by all the people visiting it but I was lucky to have been straight down into the chamber amazing
just reading this here, right? Lock crew passage tomb. So it's saying here, right, that sited on the highest hilltops in County Mead, these tombs were built by Neolithic New Stone Age societies, Ireland's first farmers. The term passage tomb derives from the passage which leads from the entrance to the burial chamber. Although called tombs, these monuments are unlikely to have been built primarily for burial and must also have acted as a focal point for a group or tribe, perhaps as territorial markers. The abstract symbolic carvings on many of the stones and the orientation of some of the tombs to the sun or other heavenly bodies reinforces the ritual nature of the monuments. Okay. So it says here, traces of about 25 tombs survive at Loch Crew. On the summit of Carn Car Carbane East, which is where I'm on now, um, the main tomb, Cairn T, is a classic example with a cross-shaped chamber covered by a mound of stones, or cairn, 35 metres in diameter. On the equinox days, March 21st and September the 21st, sunlight enters the tomb at dawn and illuminates a series of radial line patterns which are carved on various stones inside the tomb. He's wanted a 360 view of Ireland. Right, okay. I'm looking west. North. East. And south. So there's your 360 view of Ireland. It's not fantastic. This is the easy part going down the hill. Ah, oh, this is just lovely here now. It's it's actually four o'clock in the day, and it's just it's just a lovely temperature. Only in Ireland, my friends, you have grass growing in the middle of the road. I'm going down here to look at it little. I see little. Um, I think they're thatched cottages. So I want to get a picture of them down here. This is just ah oh, lovely. Lovely breeze here now, it's just nice. Wow. And make sure you go dead slow. Dead slow. Just after seeing this little place here, it's a little well, right? And it, they have a sign here saying, Mick Tobin's well, the well that never ran dry, Lock Crew, right? And I can see two cups here, so you, you can obviously put your cup in and drink the water, but I'm not going to do that. But anyway, isn't this cool? Look. There's the two cups. Only in Ireland, my friends, only in Ireland. Yeah. 
So you're sitting inside or outside? Uh, I'll tell you, I was really, um, I, I really hate there. I'm, I'm, uh, you're up taking That was a super afternoon in Loch Crew, County Mead. Yeah, absolutely loved every moment of it. As I keep saying, it's great to get out into the heartland of the country. It really is, and there's flies all over me now. Flies, flies, flies. Woo.